Yeah. And obviously yeah. that. Mark, how are ya? How are you doing? Yeah, because it, it's the good. first I, um, the first portion of the position. building will be so at Saturday. The town hall police. So, so the first portion of the portion yeah, will be the budgeting out. part will be on I do, I do Saturday the and the following Monday, the 14th, will be uh, the, the bond actual bond is, hearing. It and that will be at the Legion of Six. Since the last yeah. With the select board meeting. Who's approved as a result of that? The Space needs committee? People, yeah. That was, I don't, that was appointed I think by the select board? Which is being uh, headed by Denise. Long term job. I think there's other still some that are. Um, One of my daughter's no. girlfriend's mother, but I don't um, know the specifics. I yeah, two stories I have a question. Yes. Um, the people that works for the life It's going to have an elevator. Yeah. Yeah. They it's had like a year. It's going to have so an elevator. elevator. Not one of these. Oh, no. Does that sound right? Yeah, that would yeah. Make if it's a single story, story unit, unit that does um, both. But they're getting, if they Still has to be eight. No. They're getting no. There'd be no elevators. No, you can't fit both on the single story. Well, I get that. I mean, Silver Street's not a good option. Yeah. No, it well, then find us five acres of land. I didn't with the it's I don't think there's anything else perfect. besides yeah. this yeah. new yeah. yeah. I saw the email one. One of them wants a million dollars. I added the language it. of where we're. Westside Fire Station? Take yeah. the ball yeah. cart? No ball field? You can't. That's, 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 that's cemetery. It's the towns. It's the towns. It's the towns. Um, the second option would be the monument. He usually says it's not 10,000. The monument. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. But I sent an email to the response, so I don't know. Why? I haven't heard from anybody else. He's not done yet. He's not. Is there anyone else that says the line? Great idea. We're down an alternate. Down an alternate, for sure. Not so sure. Because you were an alternate. Right, and I and yeah, I had had So we've got. So we're missing all a full. We're missing a full. So when? So we're missing a full. So when? So we're missing a full. 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 So we're missing a full
but you have to. I believe we just do one. Unless you always go with directions of town going if you have interest in the town. No, and that part's right. Like, but but, yeah. but you have to, I think, be willing to learn no, you know about you really the regs and what it means to yeah, 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 the kids. You know, that's going, words, that, that'll be forced. Um, I don't think that's an option. Yeah. And and we move all the kids. Right people. Well, and then you got just more bodies. You know. Right. We've seen that. I wouldn't sell the yeah. building or destroy it. Not that one. <laughs> no, I'm saying we have that building. Right. It's all three phase powered. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still haven't figured out why they need uh, three phase power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Neither did I. I talked to the electrical contractor. Do you want to share? Your, your conflict is equal, like, well, yeah. Yeah. or close to equal. So, um, well, we could at least have just manufacturing. I don't know, not more than You've seen it done. <laughs> you know the concept there. <laughs> and all these weren't tactical. I'll just read them. Consider the quorum for you guys. Three. We're not voting on anything, so it's not about the quorum. It's it's. Uh huh. Push that. Push that. I nominate John Henson. Hi there. How are you? Good. Are you? Good. Ah. Good. Good. Okay. Here we go. Those are each of the items. That's all we have on the agenda today. Is okay. These, um, the public hearing on these items. Okay. Are you good? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, welcome everybody. We'll open up the planning board meeting of January 8th. Um, the only item on our agenda besides um, accepting correspondence is our public hearing on three proposed changes to the zoning ordinance. Um, given my appointment last night, I am stepping down as chair, and my position on this board is yet to be determined. And so I hand it over to our vice chair, John Hensman. All right, uh, good evening, everyone. I'm sorry, my good evening. Late, and I apologize. Uh, so um, before the... Uh, Public tonight is uh, public comment on a couple of um, revisions to our um, zoning ordinances. Um, and I guess I will read them. Uh, one would be revision of the accessory dwelling unit ordinances to come in compliance with changes to New Hampshire state laws, page 48, section 8.3, to have uh, portion 12 of that section have a 750 square foot minimum. And 18 delete A, B, and C in existing structures. That's our maximum. Right, yeah. I'm sorry, but if I say it differently, I'll probably max. 750 square foot maximum. And to delete uh, 18 A, B, and C in existing structures, quote, the existing structures are exempt from conditions 8, 9, and 13, end of quote, provided all the conditions are met, and adding 10 uh, that shall be attached to the primary structure. Um, why don't, does, I guess, should I continue or ask for public comment on this particular portion That's first? To you. Why don't we, why don't I, uh, does anyone like to comment on those proposed changes? Sonny. Hi, George. How are you, Sonny? Good, yourself? Good, thank you. <clears throat> Let's bring this all about. The only reason I'm asking this, this was something 
this was something I had seriously considered. And it already says in here it has to be attached. There is a section in the zoning ordinance on page 49 that says they're allowed in detached accessory structures provided some, you know, exceptions. We're deleting the exception. So, you know. Caroline, I don't have that on 49. Okay, so maybe we're working on a different version. But they are allowed in non-attached existing structures. If the, if the structure is existing. Correct. Right, and you're turning it into. Correct. But with a maximum square footage of 750 square feet. And the 760, 750 square feet is to get compliant with state law that changed, which is the current minimum square footage. Our maximum square footage was current was before is currently 500. Correct. Which is small. not congruent with state law. Very small. Yeah. Especially for two people. Mm -hmm. Some of the other verbiage is just clarifying some redundancy that's in the way it's written right now to make it a little more streamlined. It's, it's more of a revision, not necessarily change. It's just making it read better because, like, a, there was some contradictions between the two and some redundancy between the two, so we cleaned it up so it, it reads properly. So how are you going to put it on the ballot? The reason I'm asking that is, in the past, historically, the planning board's information they put on the ballot has been very vague and gruff. Now, they've told me, oh, it's by state law. Well, maybe so, but... If you don't understand what you're voting for, who am I going to blame? It will say something to the effect of how we are making it congruent with state law so that 750 feet, 750 feet will be the new maximum and Verse. simplify versus 500, yes, and then simplifying the language. You know. I wholeheartedly agree with that, but it hasn't been that but, way. But it'll fast. speak to the 700 square feet. It's, it's got to be, it, it can't go on for the whole section. You know, it will get more concise, but we'll speak to the 750 and the 500. Perfect. We're on the same page. Thank you. And that's also state motivated behind that, too, to become in compliance with state. Yeah. So we're, we're sort of compelled to do that. Yeah, we can't really speak to the past. We're, we're speaking to the current moving forward. My goal also, after this public hearing, um, once this board finalizes the language and agrees that this is what we're doing, is to put messages out to the public through the e email blast and on the website that confirms for people so they know ahead of time what we're doing and what we're voting on and what these things mean. So that people will hopefully be a little bit more aware ahead of time and not just be surprised at the voting booth. Any other comments on this particular uh, number, item number one? All right, item two, uh, amendment of special exception eight Point one, point two, point ten to read, quote, in an effort to maintain Rollinsford's rural character and the scale of its existing building stock, new buildings containing multiple dwelling units shall contain no more than six dwelling units per building. Buildings constructed prior to 2019 shall be allowed to be converted to multiple dwelling units without restriction on the number of units, provided that all other applicable provisions of the zoning ordinances are satisfied, and that each dwelling unit shall have approximately two parking spaces per residential unit, which may be shared by commercial uses on the same lot or in the same building and being adequate by the planning board, end of quote. I believe that this is an outgrowth from some issues regarding the Bluen building last year and that, uh, well, to, uh, and that there is another part of the zoning ordinances which this otherwise, what we're trying to correct, contradicted, and that was the effort to make our zoning ordinance uh, in this essence, come to compliance with itself or be internally coherent. Any questions or comments on this? Okay. Seeing none, um, the last item is to change, quote, Board of Selectmen, end of quote, where it appears in the Rollinsford Zoning Ordinances to, quote, select board or their designee, end of quote. Uh, any public comment on that? Okay. Um, would it be appropriate to close the public hearing? Have a 
Or is there any we, we can continue it, um, but just in case there are more comments that, I mean, unless you, yeah, the board, does anyone yeah, yeah. feel yeah. Um, like they, yeah, of course, I can All right. That's the last item on the board, or the agenda, correct? Um, it is, except that we have one oh. piece of mail for review. Oh, uh, yes, I have approval of that. Oh, okay. Um, I just want to bring to your attention that we received a notice from the Summersworth Planning Board about um, a bunch of things on their agenda, but we are abutting this property here. Okay. We missed the public hearing on it. It fell between our planning board dates, but it's something just to be aware of. Okay. We can share that. Uh... state law about noticing, okay. and our meetings fell in such a way that we were not able to benefit oh, from. Oh, and our meeting would have been when we would have received right. this as a, as a board. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 As a town property owner. As a town property residence. residence. Yes. So he's relocating a, an existing building within the property. Is that? That's what I think is going on. Okay. Yes. So, you know, and it, it's an interesting example of um, process and how these things play out. You know, in, in a better case scenario, we've had, we would have had it prior to well, the meeting is, so that we could have discussed this is whether or not. December 19th. That's, oh, that's when they held the meeting. So there's yeah. actually no date plan. But we meet once a month, but we got. The yeah, list. I think I didn't keep the envelope. So, but you know, so we should have had enough time. That so we, it was posted on the fifth. That we could have. Yeah. So they well, did it. They did their ten days. Yeah, they did their thing, yeah. but it, we just fell off cycle to them. But you know, so. It's up to this board whether or not, you know, in such a case we'd want to hold a special other meeting. You know, we could maybe get that electronically and discuss whether we want to call a meeting to mm -hmm. decide to take an action. December 4th would have been our regular meeting day. Yeah. The first Tuesday. Did we meet on the 4th? So, um, noted, I guess. Um, and, you know, we can discuss in future how we want to. Um, and it doesn't go to a great deal. That, that no. doesn't go to a great depth as to what, how this, if it's literally a building being, you know, moved and on a new foundation, the size of the building is if it's an old building, like a salt shed or says something about a garage, mm -hmm. storage building. I mean, that could be. We could, we could look at the minutes from the meeting. We could also, and one of them. us could call them and even, you know, have a discussion about, you know, the more concise version of what's the proposal and how did the planning board feel about it and is it likely to go through and... Yeah, and it also might be worth it to look on their maps and see how much of a butter we are. I mean, are we like... 750 feet, or we right. 10 where, feet? Right, where is it feeling moved to? Isn't that, that's is conservation it moved to, land now, too, right? Yes, yeah. but is it getting moved closer to our conservation or land, or further away? But they still have the setbacks that they, that they have to abide by. Right, and this is planning, not ZBA. Yeah. So, so it, not it's compliant, change. theoretically, yeah. with whatever their regulations are, which are not the same as ours, necessarily. So. We, we plan no future development ever of that backland that we own back there, either. 
that's just going to remain in conservation. Correct, which is not to say that we don't care about what happens in the land that's very true. abutting our conservation land. However, it's not looking for any sort of exception, so it doesn't need to on your end. Then there's probably not a whole lot that our public input is going to have an impact on, frankly. But taking the opposite side, should our public have a chance to speak? Well, not the public. It would be this yeah. board or the select board as a represent yeah. representative of the public would. Yes, you're right. Because it's, it's, it's town, it's town owned land. So that would be a town representative right. acting as right. representative for the land. Exactly. Owned. So either the select board is delegating one of its members or we are delegating one of our members to get more information and come well, back to that. Would that be on the select board level or on a planning level? Then? Would it be something that the select board would? Give consideration to whether it should be further. I think both parties have an interest for different reasons. Okay. Uh, was it, I'm sorry. Was it sent to the select board or the it did. Yeah, I, I, this came to the select board, and we, we probably should have known the the date. But I think it. Well, it's okay because really, it's a it's a moot point in that it fell between the meetings, so right. we weren't able to react to it. Right. And I do think it'd be a greater issue if they look for some sort of exception. I think that would be something we'd have to we have to investigate. Yeah, absolutely. If it was if they were accept, looking for some sort of exception for zoning. I would say that would be have to be a mandatory we'd have to do our due diligence. But seeing as it's not, I think we're if you're taking a vote, I I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I think it just is more concerning that we didn't have an opportunity to react despite them following a process. We don't. We we are lacking a process. I guess that's what well, I would. You want an all volunteer board that meets once a month. You know we have our we have our constraints there, I and mean, not that we're looking for excuses or loopholes, but that is the way this board is. Yeah. Right, but in such a case as a notice about, a, you know, as mm -hmm. a, you know, an abutting notice, we also get notices from, um, by the way, um, when other towns are constructing cell towers, they have to notice all the towns within a certain mile radius. So, really, um, we've been noticed before from towns as far away as Rye that they're potentially putting up a cell tower site because I guess. Probably because it could potentially affect our cell tower site. It's going to be a, about a serious radius if you're talking. It is a serious here. radius. That's what. That's yeah. my point. It's a serious radius. But I guess you know my concern about the process is: would we, although we only typically meet once a month, would we want to? At what point would we want to know this and call a special meeting? Well, in hindsight. <laughs> This came to the select board. If it was mailed on the fifth, it probably came on the yeah seventh. Maybe the fifth was a Wednesday, so we probably got it by the end of the week. Which means the select board would have viewed it on either the their tenth or seventeenth yeah. meetings, or both. And the meeting was the nineteenth, right? Right. So we'll be going forward. Um, However, you know. If there's enough time to react and enough office time too, also not just calendar time but office time to react, then that can be scanned and sent to both boards, so that as individuals we're aware, and that as individuals we can request of the chair to call yeah, a meeting, a meeting, potentially. Mm -hmm. So we're not here to call a chair meeting, though, because it would just be the board meeting. It would just be a board meeting because, as individuals, we don't have power to go to right. that public so hearing and have an opinion. Not, not a meeting necessarily noticing any public, it just. Uh, well, if we're meeting, we have to notice the public. Mm -hmm. And we need 24 hours' notice to do that. Right, and but it would be us meeting as a board. Right. To decide yeah. whether or not, as a board, we want to delegate one of us to go to the public mm -hmm. hearing and get more information and have an opinion right. about what's potentially happening. I am curious why simply relocating a building prompted them to go before the planning board. Well, they have to do a site. Yeah. 
It's not just a building permit. Well, if it's, it's a commercial building being moved, uh, and that's a that's yeah, a residential just, development there. Yeah, I, you have to show that you're still meeting the setback. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is curious, but also we can expect that they would have different regulations mm -hmm. and not necessarily True. follow what we prescribe. Okay. Anyway, Let's so check this up to lesson learned. Lesson learned, striving for better. Um, we'll see if we can do better next time. And move forward with new positions that have opened in the town would maybe have more sense of eyes looking at situation yeah. like this. So the town really needed to have more of a staff, I think. I think something would like to be recognized is when Rick could recognize the Sunny. Sonny, do you want to be recognized? Do they record their meetings? Yes. I'm just wondering if you can educate yourself off of that recording to see if you need to go any further or just leave it as a lesson learned and it's likely I think, done, I think they probably do yeah they I'll see is there a um, a docketing system at the select board for you know docketing you know Response lines and stuff like that. Is that. You guys have a system there? Mm, you mean like this is received on the 6th? Right, and, 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 and yeah. the, the deadline to respond is X. And I know it's a volunteer select no, board. I just didn't know how, how things, I'm not looking beat up on anything. I just curious no, that's, process that's wise. A, that's a decent suggestion because there are a lot of moving pieces. There is a lot of software that can help with that. Mm -hmm. All those thinking. fancy price tags. Costly. But yeah, it's it's some of it's really costly, but it will ultimately help us streamline and get more efficient and be more on top of all the balls in the air. But even a so, spreadsheet. I mean it. Well maybe. I I'm you know, um I mean that's another thing for someone to keep track of, which which is, for the effort, kind of low on return. Yeah. Um, so, what happened next? It's not a meeting. Yeah, the, there does not appear to be a video, but there is a PDF. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's over, I think. I don't know where it's all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, would you just forward it to the group? Yes. and an alternate position open. Okay. And I'm happy to take on the responsibility. I hope it does not endanger my role in the ZBA. I like being on the ZBA, but I don't know why it would. I don't think it 
would. But I don't think it is. Fortunately, our, all of our attendance has been good. You know, yeah, yeah, that's true. We, we, we usually just, this has to be something big. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we probably should also appoint a vice chair. Eventually, we just have the two of us unless we draw a short straw. I didn't see that on the agenda. <laughs> it's a resume builder. Right, I, I'll nominate Kevin Haynes as vice chair. I'll second the nomination. You're the chair. You're the chair. Uh, uh, all in favor? Yeah. Uh, 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 nay. Nice. Nice. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. So as as soon as there is more membership, um, it's an incentive for you to yeah get some more members. Well, right. Try to pass it off me, and then Pat trying to pass it off me. Now Cameron trying to pass it off. It's only your your vice chair, vice yeah. chair. You've got a buffer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know the board will make more appointments after town meeting, hopefully before. But you know, I don't know why it's so hard. I mean, it's it's one that's two hours a month, and it keeps you keeps you in the loop what's going on. Happening in town. It shouldn't be that tough. I agree. I agree. Um, but we can put a a notice out. There's already been a notice out, but we can put a more comprehensive all the openings, or at least what we know offhand is open and we mind. Has to be town resident, though, right? Correct. Not a property owner if they're resident. I think it has to be a resident and not a property owner necessarily. Well, yeah, the city ran into the budget committee. Yeah. The budget committee ran into that. There was a member who did not live in town but owned rental property. Yeah, he he had he had um he was in the process of moving and hadn't resigned yet. He had just bought property and hadn't Notify the board yet, but, was leaving. but you still have to be a resident. You can't yeah. just be a property. Correct. You have to be a you resident. You have to live here as a primary residence. Yes. For any of the elected or appointed okay. positions. That's only fair. So, uh. Yes, approval in a minute. Um, uh, December 4th. <laughs> Second up. Yeah. Uh, say aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Aye. Second. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. Can you motion? Aye. Now. Well, she's still. I, for, for tonight, I'm a member. Yeah. For next we month, we'll see.